गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स हियर आई कोच कर सर विद द नेक्स्ट वीडियो फॉर आई पी स्टूडेंट्स फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्थ इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई डेमोन्स्ट्रेटेड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ लाइन ग्राफ हाउ वी कैन प्लॉट द लाइन ग्राफ इन ऑर्डर टू विजुअलाइज यूजर इन्फॉर्मेशन बाई यूज इन मैट प्लॉट लिप पैकेज विच पैकेज वी हैव इम्पोर्टेड इम्पोर्ट मैट प्लॉट लिप डॉट पाई प्लॉट दिस पर्टिक्युलर पैकेज इज यूज टू विजुअलाइज यूजर इन्फॉर्मेशन ग्राफिकली ओके सो दिस इज द पैकेज फ्रॉम दैट पैकेज वी हैव पाई प्लॉट मॉड्यूल ओके सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव विजुअलाइज अलजेब्राइक इक्वेशन इन वन वेरिएबल ग्राफिकली बाय यूजिंग लाइन ग्राफ बाय यूजिंग द सेम टूल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू विजुअलाइज ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक इक्वेशन इन वन वेरिएबल ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन इन वन वेरिएबल ग्राफिकली बाय यूजिंग लाइन ग्राफ सो बिफोर आई स्टार्ट अवर एक्चुअल प्रोग्राम यू मस्ट नो द बेसिक रिगार्डिंग द ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन ओके फ्रिक्वेंटली वी रिक्वायर टू यूज ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन इन आवर मैथमेटिक्स इन डे टू डे लाइफ ऑल्सो वी रिक्वायर टू कैलकुलेट सो सी हियर ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन वी रिक्वायर टू apply okay so here let us suppose when we consider this particular table okay sin theta theta is nothing but various angles we are calculating the sin theta means theta is nothing but the the angle that we have readed from the uh, particular figure let us suppose sin 0 is 0 when we consider 30 degree angle that is sin 30 is nothing but 1/2 Sin forty five one upon root two, sin sixty root three upon two. So these are the standard values for these particular angles. Okay. When I want to calculate the cos thirty four, then I will get the result root three upon two, cos sixty one upon half, that is one upon two, and cos ninety zero. Okay. So graphically we have to plot or we have to visualize this particular information. for this particular trigonometric functions okay so actually these are the different angles and these are the standard values for different trigonometric functions sin cos tan these are the primary or basic trigonometric functions and cos x sec cot are the uh, secondary trigonometric functions okay so i am going to start the actual program okay so first of all for visualization we require to import this particular package every time from this particular package we have this particular module and from this module we have different tools we have line graph bar graph pie chart we have histogram okay scatter graph from that we have chosen line graph so this is the required package that i have imported in my program you are familiar with this statement one more package uh, in module going to import here import numpy as plt as whenever we use as that is aliasing name for entire instead of writing entire this every time module package name followed by module name straight forward you can write aliasing name for the uh, throughout program in throughout program we we can use aliasing name okay uh, now numpy as np this is the standard general convention for numpy module now your why i have written the or imported this particular numpy module in my program because i have to used one ready made function from this particular numpy module so let us suppose x is equal to np dot a range a range you are familiar with this particular function what is the use of this particular a range function you know because already in 11th class we studied just i am writing in the comments a range function will produces different possible values for x variable here so what are the possible values of x so when there is only single parameter so this particular a range consider or starts the values from 0 to this value minus 1 that is 0 to 6 minus 1 in this case 5 so 0 is the first value for x variable then second value is 1 then 2 then the last value is 5 okay so 
what is the purpose why i have imported this particular numpy module because i have to use this particular inbuilt function that they have stored in numpy module okay in order to consider different possible values for x variable now what is our ultimate aim we have to uh, we have to show graphically the trigonometric function which trigonometric function draw just i'm writing a draw a line graph for y is equal to sin x sin x Now what we have to do here it is a trigonometric function in one variable only okay variable quantity is x for all possible values of x every time this particular function will produce different values for y that we have stored in y variable so the result or the value of this particular sine function depends on what value we are passing to the as a parameter to this particular sine function okay when we consider when we pass zero to this sine function we will get particular value as a as output in y variable okay when we consider different value i will get different output every time depends on the value of y every time i will get the different output in a uh, different value in y variable okay now i have to just use this particular function now again np dot sin i have to calculate the sin value for x now sin is a ready made function again okay so where this particular sin function they have stored they have stored in the numpy module numpy module we have arrange function we have sin function we have cos tan cos x x cot is that means all trigonometric functions uh, they have stored in numpy okay so just i'm going to access this particular numpy that they have stored in numpy module that's why i required to use np before the function name okay so for all possible values of x we are calculating the sin x and that we have stored in y variable okay now in order to plot this particular x and y on coordinate system in order to generate the your line graph okay i must use some ready made functions so in order to plot or visualize your output by using line graph you required to use plot function okay that they have stored in pi plot module okay so plot function what are the two compulsory parameters i must pass x comma y okay x comma y and when i just which uh, show when i want to show this particular output on the screen this is the compulsory function you required to use when i save this particular program trigonometric this is the title i have given i am just executing this particular code see here so by default it i have not decorated anything any additional this particular output okay so this is the graphical representation of sin x function Gra graphical representation of sin x function so uh, x axis x axis is the axis we have plot different values of x axis and this is the sin x that plotted y axis and when sin 0 just see 0 0 then we consider this winner that is the output now here one more thing i am doing addition so just i am decorating my output here with the additional functions uh, whenever you got the put default you got the language specific group by default if you required specific on the line you have this particular attribute color is equal to you can directly mention the color name or only first alphabet is sufficient that is r for red color if you write b you will get the blue color g for green color second thing marker is one of the attribute we have multiple possible values for marker let us suppose if i write s here okay what is what will be the output you can see you can see here 
on each vertex of this particular line graph okay you are getting the square square okay, this is one vertex second third fourth you have six level value of x so six level uh, vertices that we got okay, that is the use of mark this is one of the inter finger that is mark. so if you add star instead of or multiple we have complete okay if you if i write here star so you will get the star there instead of square okay so just i try to uh, add some additional effects here now this is the uh, whatever output we have printed that is the visual representation of sine function now if i try to i required one more function that is cos function okay second line graph just i want to draw in the same x y coordinate system for cos c here i am using the same values x every time okay just i want to calculate sin 0 so i will get particular number that we have stored in y variable now in this case i have to calculate cos 0 okay that i am going to store in the z variable now in order to uh, plot second line in your x y coordinate system i required to use same function twice so here but what will be the change last time i pass x y here i must pass x comma z because cos function i required now here green green color i required and just i am let us suppose o for circle this is the we have multiple possible values for marker attribute when we write o you will get the circle on the each vertices of your line graph now you can see Now you can see here these are the two line graphs red line indicates sine green line indicates the cos trigonometric functions now one more thing is there in order to identify now i have written this particular program so i know the red line indicates sine blue line indicate cos trigonometric function what about the third person you don't know anything regarding the program okay so in output we can make the that particular provision now here we required to use legal property uh, label label is equal to let us suppose a green line indicate cos okay so i can write cos x and exactly this particular red line this particular red line indicate sine function okay and only one thing is there that is called as the ready-made function that we required to use that is called as ligand so what is the use of ligand that you will get the meaning of that when you see the output now see here again i am executing the same code now see here this is more accurate program as output as compared to previous output because ligand property we have set in our output now ligand property gives us the information regarding red line indicate what thing green line indicate what thing we have two lines okay so red line indicate sin x trigonometric function and green line indicate cos x trigonometric function okay now few things i am going to add here again that is very important uh, you must have a general title to your line graph is general information regarding this particular line graph let us suppose now this is trigonometric function trick functions okay uh, you can increase the si uh, size also of the text because this is the uh, main title so just i am giving the 14 font size equal to 14 okay you can mention color here color is equal to suppose pink So this title will appear on the center part of your output window and one more thing is there we have one more ready-made function that is called as x label on x axis what we have to uh, visualize on x axis x variable values and on y axis whatever we are writing in the double inverted commas that will be printed in the x axis 
enough now again one more function is there just i am copying this particular code because same function we have, to, we have one more function that is y label so on y axis what we have to that is called as trigonometric functions okay definitions we are writing in short i am writing this now when i again re-executing so you will get the next effect that is we got the title y title x axis title we got the general title we got this legend part and we got this uh, this particular marker values okay marker so these are the different components of your graphs okay so this way we can visualize user data graphically graphically by using matplotlib package from that package we have used pyplotmodule okay so you require to understand understand this particular program and uh, the way i have made the, the changes for in order to visualize or print different output okay hope all of you have understood this particular 